Welcome to section 3.1. We thought it'd be a good idea to jump to this section 3.1, look at part of it, and then come back to chapter 2. And the main reason for that is to introduce you to another unit of measurement for angles, which is better. It's called radian measure. And the reason why it's better is because what we've related it to is actually real numbers. Degrees aren't real numbers. They're just arbitrarily defined as 1 360th of a full rotation. Therefore, 360 degrees is a full rotation. What we're going to relate ours to is arc length. And so um, an angle with this vertex at the center, I'm reading this definition right here, um, that intercepts the arc of a circle equal in length to the radius of the circle has a measure of one radian. So think about that. Think about radian being actually the radius, right? That's where it gets its name. But the most important part is that it's linked to um, something that's real, an arc length, right? And so we've defined it in a way. So let me um, get a green color pen in here. This arc length right here is what is the same as this radius distance right here. Those two distances are exactly the same. If that happens, then you have one radian. And what's neat is when you define it like this, um, you can see that the arc length, if we let that red line just keep going farther and farther, will end up being a circle, right? And we know all about a circle. Um, and in terms of its radius, we know about its circumference being, well, if its radius is 1, 2 pi. And so that's the key in all of this. Let me switch back to a, a blue color. What's in, neat about this definition is, well, if you haven't gone anywhere, you're at zero radians. But if you've gone half, I'm sorry, a quarter of the way around the circle, you've gone pi over two radians. Halfway around, you've gone pi. Three quarters of the way around, three pi over two. And all the way around, two pi, right? And you just keep repeating that over and over. And so instead of um, non-real numbers like 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, these are real numbers, numbers that we can work with in large equations because they're real without any adjustment. And so you'll find that radian measure is the preferred um, and the one that's drawn to. But we want to be fluid with both. And so in this section, we'll get um, some questions about understanding radians like you'll see and conversion of radians. Um, as we go through. So uh, it says here in exercise one to draw a figure that represents one half of a radian. And so what I'd like to remind you of is what I wrote up here. I'm going to get rid of this zero. I think we all know about the zero. But the, the pi over two radians, right? Pi is about three. So this is about one and a half. This is about three this is about four and a half and this is about six just so you have your rough estimates so if you have a half a radian a half a radian in this very first one if we're going to draw a figure that represents a half a radian it's going to be here in the first quadrant and we'll call that one half a radian it's going to be half of the the radius of a circle that's drawn through it two radians what quadrant would two radians be in well, it's going to be bigger than one and a half, but less than three. So just worry about getting it in the right quadrant for right now. So this would be theta being two radians. Now, radians don't have any units. So if you ever see an angle with, written without units, it's understood to be a radian. If you want it to be a degree, you have to put the degree symbol on there. That's why you'll miss problems if you don't put a degree symbol on. And then two pi radians, that would be right back here. That would be this distance right here. So this is two radians. This is one half a radian. This is two pi radians. And so again, it's better to remember that all the way around the circle is two pi. Halfway is pi and three pi over two. And so because there's a nice conversion, um, we know that pi and 180 are, are linked to one another. And so if you want to convert from one to another, you just use some... Um, conversion factors, right? That, well, pi is the same as 180. So essentially what you're using is a ratio. Hey, pi to, is to 180 degrees. And you're just converting it that way. So if you have 108 degrees, you can say to yourself, well, I don't want degrees. So the 180 degrees goes on the bottom so that the units cancel out. And I got a pi over 180. And when you do that reduction, it will reduce if you keep pulling out 
common factors, it would reduce down to 3 pi over 5. You must put them in their reduced form. Negative 135 degrees. Well, I don't want degrees, right? And so what am I going to do? I'm going to put the 180 degrees on the bottom. And this will help you in science classes as well. So what do you have? You have negative 135 pi over 180. What's that going to reduce down to? 3 pi over 4. And radium measures actually preferred also from understanding where you are. So if I go to this 11 pi over 2, now I'm converting from radians to degrees. So remember that. I don't want radians, but I do want degrees. So let me put my degrees up top and my radians on the bottom. Now pi doesn't have to be there for a radian. You've seen it with, above with 2 and 1 half, but typically it is. The ones we memorize at least are. And essentially what happens is you replace the pi with 180. That's what's really going on when you convert from radians to degrees. The pi's cancel out and you put in a 180. If you do that division, you'll wind up with 165 degrees. Again, grab a calculator there. So what I mentioned was if you're converting from radians to degrees, you can just replace pi with 180. That's a super fast way to do it. You could set it up like I did over here, but you'll realize the pi's will cancel out and essentially you're replacing it with the 180. And so what does that work out to be? Negative 210 degrees is what you will come out with on a calculator as you run that through. And so yeah, um, take a look at calculator. Sorry, I'm trying to make it smaller and it's not recognizing my second finger. Okay. As we move forward then in this 3.1 section, what we want to do is get um, some nice ratios in there So, um, and relationships. And the relationships that are important are actually at the bottom, but here's a nice circle that shows you all the different degrees and the associated radians with them. And so you'll want to have these. These are what we call the special angles. These are the ones that are going to be called upon in future classes by memorization. And so you want to make sure that you know that 30 degrees and pi over 6 are related at some point. So 0 degrees is 0 radians. And then they want the radians approximate. Well, that, they'll ask for that sometimes in a book. Um, so if they ask for it in R's, what they really want is the decimal representation. That's what the approximation is. The exact is pi over 6. So the exact radians is 0, written as a decimal is still 0. The exact radian is pi over 6 for 30 degrees. And so remember, everything's related to pi. And if you divide pi by a big number like 6, it's smaller than if you divide it by a small number like 3. And so pi over 6 is related to the 30 degrees. And if we take um, pi and divide it by 6, we get 0.5235. So I'm going to put 0.524. If I do the same thing with pi over 4, put it in my calculator, I'll get 0.785. One radian um, is exactly 1, right, coming through there. Um, pi over 3 is, oh, and then 1 radian, what is that in terms of a degree? I guess I should fill that in as well. Well, we have 1 radian. We know how to convert that 2 degrees um, by taking 180 degrees and dividing by pi. So we'd have to take 180 and divide by pi and come up with 57.3 degrees is what I'll put there, 57.3 degrees. Kind of weird. We never really um, utilize that. I'm not sure why they put that in their chart. We really care about these ones that are in black here. Um, well, I guess they're, all the originals were in black, but that this row is kind of strange. Um, this one right here. 60 degrees pi over 3. If we take pi and divide it by 3, we get 1.047. I think maybe they just wanted to show you where 1 radian is. Pi over 2, 1.5 is what I estimated at, but it's really 1.571. Pi, you know, is 3.142. 3 pi over 2, I'm Estimated that as 4.5, it's really higher than that, 4.712. 360 degrees is really 2 pi, and twice pi is 
0.283. So the reason for this last column, this one where you give the radians approximate, is so that you realize radians are numbers and therefore they don't have to have the pi's. They usually do so that we can do the work easily, but they don't have to. Convert each degree to radian measure. 1800 degrees. Well, I don't want degrees, so the 180 degrees goes on the bottom, and you'll find out very quickly that this is 10 pi. Um, working down here, 6. Now, there's no degree on that, so that is 6 radians. So if I want to convert 6 radians to um, degrees, that means I want degrees, and I want to get rid of radians. And so I would just plug this into my calculator as 6 times 180 divided by pi. And I'm coming up with 343.8 degrees, 0.77 degrees. Here to convert from degrees to rad I'm sorry, from radians to degrees, because it has a pi, we can just replace it with 180 and look at 2 times 180 divided by 3, and you'll get 210 degrees, a nice second quadrant angle. Um, I apologize, third quadrant angle in there. And 6 pi um, would just be 6 times 180 degrees or 1080 degrees, right, if you run that into your calculator. And so there's going to be a lot of conversion back and forth. We just want you to have some familiarity. What we would like you to be able to do is study these common angles before filling out the following chart don't peak. We would love for you to be able to say 0 degrees is 0 radians. 30 degrees immediately is pi over 6. 45 pi over 4. 60 pi over 3. 90 pi over 2. So notice there's a nice little um, drop in all those. Pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2. And then 180 degrees, we would love for you to know that's pi. 270, 3 pi over 2. And then I'll tack on here one more. That 360 degrees is 2 pi. Those, we want you to have those associations quickly drawn upon or memorized. And so that's why we're writing don't peak and all that. That is what we have for the 3.1 introduction. With that, you should be able to go into the homework and, and work on um, the just that 3.1 part 1 homework, and you'll be able to convert between degrees and radians.